Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, big weather news as far as the uh, drought monitor in southern New England. Now, back in September, we were in a severe to even extreme category from really a drought that had extended back even long before that for over 12 months. I mean, we were in the um, in this brown and red category. It has been completely erased in the last five months across southeastern New England, just slightly dry up towards the Taunton and Boston areas. So, you know, snowstorms and multiple rainstorms and certainly the multiple rain systems of the last uh, five, six days really uh, making a big difference here. Doppler radar locally is quiet after a pretty wet and loud evening between six and eight o'clock. Had those heavy downpours and strong thunderstorms coming through. In Narragansett, visibility has actually improved. The temperature actually going up as well. Still some locations with fog. Uh, downtown Providence, the visibility has come up quite a bit as well, including the temperature. There's a warm front trying to push through. So temperatures in some cases are in the mid 50s, even close to 60 in Taunton, 50 in Newport, though cooler in Smithfield at the 48 degrees. Storm system, at least a, a part of it, responsible for uh, the severe or the strong thunderstorms earlier this evening with a warm front is starting to lift north and east very slowly. The winds around this system are rather gusty, so it'll be a blustery and cool day tomorrow, but this storm will just drift up into northern New England. We'll still be, be under the influence of it for tomorrow in terms of some cloudiness and perhaps a few light scattered rain showers later tomorrow afternoon. But as far as an all out uh, washout, I certainly don't see that. In fact, most of the time, uh, for your Friday, it's actually dry. Getting real close, take a look at Futurecast. Starting off this evening at 11 o'clock, temps in the 50s with uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies. And tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., clouds and a little bit of partial sunshine. Temperatures in the mid 40s starting off early in the morning. Some sunshine up until about noon. 51 and then the clouds start to fill back in during the mid to late afternoon and towards late day you start to see a few isolated showers by late afternoon and into the early evening hours but they hit and miss they're brief and again most of the time uh, the day is actually dry but by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night just a few scattered rain showers passing through tomorrow morning a little bit of sunshine with the cloud cover temperature starting off in the mid 40s tomorrow afternoon uh, lower 50s, clouds, and a couple of isolated showers. I certainly don't want to give the impression that we have a rainy day tomorrow. Again, just spotty hit and miss, and that's about it. Seven-day future cast, gradual improvement for the weekend, especially Sunday. I mean, Saturday's not bad, but boy, Sunday, that's about time here. Sunshine temperature up to 60, and then talk about where have you been all my life? <laughs> Warm weather, upper 60s. Low 70s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night. <coughs> excuse me, nighttime temperatures uh, in the 50s. So after all this rain, something to look forward to, especially the latter part of the weekend yeah. and next week. It looks beautiful. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Tony.